Welcome back to Angina's Creations. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a mock-up. A mock-up is just a digital image that you will be showing your customer on how their final product will look. Or if you offer digital files, it's something that your customers or your social media will know how the item looks after it's completed. And all you have to do is literally get your images and put them all together. Today I'll be using Silhouette Studio. I like using Business Edition just because I have all the icons that I can use in this software. Silhouette Business, you can use this for free. It's the basic edition, but if you want to upgrade, check down the description bar below. I do have an affiliate link on you on how to upgrade and it's not that expensive and it is a one-time payment. Also, you can use this software without using a cutting machine. I'll tell that to everyone. This software is great to design in. All right, let's get started. The first um, thing that you have to do is set up your paper size. That is the first icon on your right. It says page setup is like a little paper. From there, it says media size. Make sure you have it on 8 by 11 and your orientation on portrait. And also people say that how does my canvas look white? It's because where it says transparency, I have mine on zero. Some people have it on 100. After here, you need to put in a background of your choice. Um, a lot of people like to use the wood backgrounds, so all you need to do is go on Google and look up a uh, wood background. So I just looked up light gray wood background. I'm going to click on one. I'm going to right click, copy, go into silhouette, right click, and paste. After this is here, while it's selected, I'm going to go to my width and I'm going to type 8.5 and enter. I'm going to go to my height, type 11, and enter. Now, I don't know where it will be centered, so I'm just going to drag my mouse, go to my transform panel, and click on center to page. So it can be right in my center. After here, you need to get whatever you want to make the mock-up of. Prior to this video, I'll show you guys on how to create your own hand sanitizer label, so I'll be showing you how to create your hand sanitizer mock-up. So I'm just going to go back to Google and I am going to look up for the hand sanitizer. The hand sanitizer, after I find the image, I'm going to right click and save this image to my computer. After this image is saved, I, I don't want that white background behind it. After this is saved, I'm going to go to remove BG. That's a website, remove BG. After I go into this website, it's going to say upload image. You're going to look once you click on upload, you're going to look for wherever you save the image. Once it takes off the background, you're going to download it and save it to your computer. After all that it's saved, you're going to go back into your silhouette. You're going to go to file. You're going to go to merge. And you're going to look up for that PNG image you just created. Click on the image. Click on OK. Silhouette Studio now automatically auto traces your PNG. You don't want to have that red outline background, uh, red outline on your image. So you're going to go to your outline panel on your right, click on the color, and click on no color to remove that outline. Okay. Once that is removed, you're going to place your item wherever you want it at. You can do a mock-up different ways. You can, um, let me actually go get the labels that we created yesterday. And I'm just going to right-click, copy, go back into where I was creating and paste. Right-click and ungroup them because there was grouped together. Click on one label, right click and duplicate it just because I want to leave this just like these. Place your label on the hand sanitizer. You're going to hold down the shift key, click on the hand sanitizer, right click and group it together. Now you can actually put three hand sanitizers on your screen if you want that. So I'm just right clicking and duplicating. 
and you have there. Now this hand sanitizer is kind of transparent. So if you want to have a small offset behind your hand sanitizers, all you got to do is make sure you have one of the hand sanitizers selected. Go to your offset panel. It's a double start on your right. Click on offset. Play around with your distance in the offset. Go to your fill panel and color the offset. I'm going to color it white. You can color it black. You can color any color. I'm just going to, you can even put it blue. You can put it purple. I'm going to actually leave it um, white. And then I'm going to go to my outline color and click on no color. Hold down my shift key. Click on the hand sanitizer, right click and group it together. And I'm actually going to delete these two here. So all of them could have that offset. And this is one mock-up. You could put your logo on here. If you have a logo and even if you don't have a logo, um, just make sure you at least put your name on it and stuff like that just to watermark it. You can put your logo anywhere, but if you want your logo all around here, I'm actually going to put it smaller like that. And then um, where it says replicate panel, I'm going to put where it says fill to page. Wait till this fills up. Oh, wait, sorry, guys. Let me undo that really quick. The undo button right here is this arrow. I undo, and then while my logo is selected, I'm going to go to my fill panel, the one that looks like a paint palette. It's going to say transparency. Let me zoom in. And I want to kind of put my logo kind of transparent. Then I'm going to go back to my replicate panel and click on filter page. And as you can see, my logo is kind of transparent, but it's all over. You could put it a little bit lighter if you want, but at least it's watermarked, okay? So that is one way to create one. Now I'm actually going to move all this to the side. I'm going to do another one. Let's say you are selling digital files. That There's nothing that you are going to be printing. You're going to have one of your hand sanitizers. So I have these labels here. And I'm going to get a rectangle for my shapes on my left. I'm going to make a rectangle on my screen. I'm going to go to my fill panel and click on the color white. I'm going to right click it and send it to the back. I'm going to select somewhere here on my screen, drag my mouse and right click and group. Then I'm going to bring this over here and Using the little white uh, squares, I'm going to bring it down just to size it down. And if you don't know how to zoom in and out right here, there's a minus side and a plus sign. That's how you zoom in and out. So while I have this one like this, I'm going to move it, like curve it with this green button like this. Now, again, there's no right or wrong on how to create a mock-up. I'm going to right click and duplicate it. Turn this one around right click and duplicate it and rotate this one 
and now it looks like you have three pieces of paper. I'm going to hold down my shift key, click on all three, right click and group these together. So you have the option to just have these three papers on your screen, on your um, mock-up. And you can put the hand sanitizer smaller if you want on one corner. Right click, bring it to the front. And you're able to just have the hand sanitizer in the one corner. You know, you can fix it however you want. Um, you can put something here that will tell the customers like this is a digital file. You can add like a little flag. You could come up here and get some of your shapes. So I'm just going to grab the rectangle just to make it quick. So I'm going to make any size rectangle right here. I'm going to color it pink. gonna put it right here you're gonna go on your a on your left after you click on the a on your left you're gonna click somewhere else on your screen and then you're gonna start typing then you're gonna go on your fill panel that looks like the paint palette color it any color of your choice then on the A on your right, you have the option to pick any of the fonts that you have saved. You can go to the font.com and um, download free fonts for free. Duh, it's free. <laughs> download free fonts and I have a separate video on how to download your fonts. But you do need to make sure that your Silhouette Studio is completely closed before you download any um, of your fonts. I'm going to put that in front of this rectangle here I'm gonna bring these papers a little bit down and then I am going to get one of my logos and I'm gonna go back to my fill panel and bring that transparency down and make my logo a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna place it right here right click and bring it to the front and you can also put your logo all around here, or you can just write the word sample, like all capital sample or proof or anything of your choice. Like this. So nobody takes, you know, and put a diagonal and, you know, put it like that. And then bring your transparency. I mean, there's so many options that you can do. Pretty sure, you know, you're going to figure out however you want your mock-ups to look. So right here it has the word sample or proof or copyright, whatever you want to put. Or you can even put your name. It doesn't matter. Um, all right. So after you created your mock-up, now you are going to save this image onto your computer. So you're going to, go, if you have business edition, you have the option to save this as a JPEG or a PNG or a PDF file. You're going to go to file. You're going to go to save as, save to hard drive, where it says save as type, you're going to pick the option you want. Just, you could pick JPEG. You don't even need this as a PNG. Pick up, pick JPEG. If by any means you don't have business edition, you are going to have to take a screenshot of this. And how do you take a screenshot is if you go to your search bar and search snippet, it's called the snipping tool. You're going to click on open. And it's going to tell you right here how to take a screenshot. So it says, click on the Windows logo key plus Shift plus S. All right, remember that. Windows key, Shift plus S. So, Windows key, Shift and S. And after that, this is going to appear. So you're going to make a rectangle right over your mock-up to take a screenshot. That's what we're doing. We're taking a screenshot. This is only if you don't have the option to save. Um, if you don't have business edition, you don't have the option to save as anything. Right here, I have a screenshot. I'm going to let it go. And it took a screenshot. And I'm going to see my screenshot. And then, from here, you're going to save this to your computer. And you have it saved. 
Now, how do you put this all over social media? If you're posting this on Facebook, you're just going to sign into your Facebook, click on make a post, click on the um, camera sign or picture sign, and upload this, and then type your description. You can do the same thing on Instagram. If you have a website, Etsy or stuff like that, Etsy, this is going to be the front of your um, Etsy listing. If you have Shopify, it's going to be the front of your Shopify listing, wherever you're posting. If you're going to save, um, send this to your customer, you're going to save this and then you're going to message your customer this image. Again, guys, whatever you're doing with this, this is a mock-up. This is what you're going to showcase of your work. And this is the same way you're going to do a mock-up of everything you do. Now, personally, I don't like doing mock-ups for everything. One of my uh, biggest thing of everyone that's new, I highly recommend taking pictures of the actual item to make sure that you know how to make it. I see people so many times doing mock-ups of t-shirts and they don't know how to make a t-shirt because you can easily go get a t-shirt on Google, put a font in front of your t-shirt, post it everywhere, and then they will get an order of like a hundred shirts and they don't even know what vinyl to use, what iron-on to use, if they're going to do sublimation or that. So I highly recommend first doing um, the actual item and taking pictures of the actual item first. And then when people are asking like for digital files, you already know how to do it. There's only for you to keep on printing and then you have a mock-up. All right, guys. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please comment down below any other videos you would like to see from me. Don't forget if you want to purchase anything from me, feel free to message me on Facebook and Instagram at Andrina's Creations. If you don't have social media, feel free to email me at Andrina's Creations at Yahoo.com. If you're not in my crafting and Genius Creations Crafting Lounge. Feel free to join my crafting group. Again, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified when I upload more videos. And I hope everyone's have a blessed day. Bye-bye.